Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we're going to be inspecting the Burnley Squads, Finances and Overall Setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit that subscribe button to you bang up to date of all my FM related content going forward. Now, if you have seen some of the other videos, you might, you know, you're probably getting the, the gag now that I say that I look like so and so. But this is what I realistically look like. There you go. And if you don't believe me, that gives you much, much more reason to subscribe as a... Uh, I try not to, I'm not going to show my face again in this video because that's, uh, I'm doing an all-nighter uh, and I look like I uh, well, and it looks like it. But anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Let's just jump straight in. Let's start the vid. Okay, returning to the FM scene in for about 10 year absence. Uh, last time I played. Oh, got my teeth stuck into this was probably the FM football manager 2007 uh, so here we are with them six fingered weirdos Burnley let's just jump straight and take a look at the home screen for Burnley uh, they have a looks like a Belgique you know or French I don't know they've, they're playing some some Western European sides. Go ahead, Eagles. I'm sure that's a Belgic side. Brevens, I think, has a Belgic side. Yeah, Brest might be French. So, pretty low key preseason for Burnley. Uh, one of the things you used to be able to do um, is change names, like give things nicknames. And I would love to be able to give Burnley a nickname. Obviously, because I am a Blackburn Rovers fan and uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's doable something I need to expect uh, a little bit later on anyway let's jump straight into the meat of it and take a look at your finances Burnley see how much money you have to spend looks like a cool 10 million and any transfer uh, dealings you do do or like get players out you're going to receive 90% of that. You have a wage budget of £815,000 uh, per week. You can tweak it a little bit, but it's pretty maxed out. You could probably push it to £11 million, uh, but that will trim your wages significantly. Let's take a look at your uh, crappy youth system you've got going on here. Uh, Polish keeper coming through the ranks, 16 years of age. Uh, Adam Bruce is another young keeper. Kai Cattlebank Park. Now that's another name, another goalkeeper. He's one for the future. 16 years of age. Another Aussie who made the poor decision to uh, sign up for Burnley instead of those glorious uh, kings down the road. Blackburn Rovers. You should have went there, son. Oscar Woods. Most valuable youngster in this crop is Jordan Crubber. 17 years of age, 25,000 uh, pounds. That's how much he's worth. His youth contract is worth, I guess. Not real, not much to write home about, but uh, that's Burnley. What do you expect? Uh, anyway, moving forward into the under 23s. Let's get this um, into some significant order. Five goalkeepers on the book. Anders Lingard recently signed. So that just shows how bang up to date this uh, database is. He is knocking on about 33 years of age. Adam Legzendins. Uh, I'm sure he was Australian. Um, he, poor bastard, is uh, contracted to Burnley. What else have we got going on here? Some young younger fellas, 17 years old, 19 year old, have pushed their way through into the um under 23s luke hendry not the luke hendry a promising new luke hendry he's currently on loan at bradford who else do we have in here quite a lot of players out on loan chris long formerly of everton i believe yeah he was on everton's book now on loan at northampton uh who is the most expensive player in the reserves for you guys it could not be surely well, it's not, it does not look that promising. £775,000 for Chris Long, 22 years of age. Then you're looking at Daniel Gay. I think he's at um, Wimbledon or Walsall even. Huh? Uh, Anders Lingard, so not, it's not much to write home about. Who's the tallest player? Six foot five, Bohemoth Dwight Mitchell, 17 years of age. Could be the new Crouchy. 
Anyway, let's take a look at your uh, main squad. And uh, let's try and get this into some organized structure. Tom Heaton doesn't have his crucial injury, so that's quite significant. Nick Pope, uh, two pretty decent keepers. Uh, Tom Heaton probably in his prime, 21 Point five million pounds. So that's 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 a figure. Should you dare I say it, want to try and manage these weirdos, you probably want to cash in on him for twenty one million. Harry Flowers, youngster in there, you know thirty four thousand. Um, it's 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 a squad that's probably uh, that needs to be relegated. I'm afraid they are, they just don't belong in this division. Anyway, let's take a look at the most valuable players. Obviously, Tom Heaton tops that billing. Robbie Brady, second, 17.5 million. Jeff Hendrick, he was a summer signing by ex-manager Sean Dyche. Obviously, ex, because now I've uh, stupidly put my name forward for it. Stephen Defoe, 17.5 million, 29-year-old uh, defensive midfielder. He's going to go to the World Cup. Chris Wood, um, signing just before transfer deadline day. 16.25 million. Let's take a look at the, the a situation that you might want to address. Some of these contract expiries. Dean Marnie, Scott Arfield. Uh, they're the two heavyweights. Well, I guess Scott Arfield, he's probably the one you really need to consider. You probably want to get him signed up. Um, but he's garbage anyway, so get rid of him. Wanted by Crystal Palace. Anyway, let's push, push, uh, push forward and say, check out some of the other tabs here. Uh, some of the bit of the board going on. Um, let's take a look further. Competitions, that's what I want to check out. So this is what you're going to set yourself up for should you be stupid enough to take over Burnley. Um, the board expects you to avoid relegation. Uh, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one with this with this bunch of uh, bunch of six fingered freaks. Um, and then you got to look at the English FA Cup. Reached the fifth round. You're currently entering the third round, so you got to win a couple of games there. And they expect you to make the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. And you're currently in the second. Moving forward, let's have a quick gander of the team report. If you want to take a closer look at this, I suggest you pause the video right about now. As for squad depth. Um, all jokes aside, you guys do have a pretty decent side and you've got a lot of bases covered. Your forward line, you know, there's no ridiculous um, Aguero or anything on that, but you do have a, a strong, steady bunch of forwards. Chris Wood will score your goals. Ashley Barnes, consistent. Naki Wells, Sam Vokes, Walters. And it does say you have a couple of other players here. Goodmanson, that's a, that's a joke. Yeah, all right. Um, but yeah, you seem to have a lot of bases covered quite extensively. Um, your right back's not the greatest. Matt Loughton, not really challenged by any one of these other fellas. So look at squad dynamics again. Atmosphere seems pretty steady. Uh, match cohesion's poor. Managerial support, poor. So look at your hierarchy. These are the kind of players that you would consider for your skipper. For the season, obviously Tom Heaton is the man. Um, should they leave, you'll be looking at this crop of players. Social groups, these are the players that you would consider for mentorships or to be considered as mentors for younger folks. Obviously Tom Heaton, prime example in the England squad. Um, fallen from grace from, from Manchester United. But now he's here, he's found his level with Burnley. Uh, overall happiness. Pretty, pretty happy. So you got a good bunch of players and good, uh, good morale. So they should, they should do be in, you know, should have enough to, to just get relegated. Yeah, that'll do. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you. If there's something I have missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League game over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there that no one ever covers. You want me to cover for you? Just let me know. Scribble it down in the comment section below, and I'll try and do it for you. As it only takes just a couple minutes. Uh, moving forward, once the initial hecticness of the beta and the actual release of FM18 calms down, please check back with me. I'll be going to do some game saves. I have a few epic ones in the pipeline, so be sure to stick around. But until next time.
Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.